good evening students today we are looking into the another concept in matrices that is transpose of a matrix in our previous session we were doing the multiplication of matrices the types of matrices addition and subtraction so let us go straight away into the session what do you mean by transpose of a matrix let us assume there is a matrix a i j so students are uh, very familiar with this kind of notation the upper case denotes matrix this denotes the element address and as subscript we can denote the order the order i am cross n so the number of rows and number of columns though i have written 3 by 3 here it is not essential that the matrix should be a square matrix any kind of matrix irrespective of number of rows and columns we can do the transpose so what do we mean by transpose actually so the transpose of a matrix is indicated by alternative this is one symbol this is another symbol so a transpose or a dash indicates transpose of a transpose of a matrix well how do we obtain the transpose by interchanging the rows and columns so i am just leaving it as interchanging rows and columns what do you mean by interchanging rows and columns the columns become rows and vice versa so the every element what was earlier a i j takes the position it takes the position a j i in other words let's take a small example so let us take an example a uh, 2 by 2 matrix 1 2 9 and 10 i have taken let this be matrix a so that implies a transpose the row 1 which contains 1 2 becomes the first column and second row 9 10 becomes the second column that's what is given as uh, uh, a transpose you can write it as a with t as superscript or with a dash fine let me give another example which is not a square matrix any number of rows and columns i told you so consider a matrix b i am going to take a 3 by 2 matrix first row second row and third row okay i have numbers i have just written randomly so what will be the b transpose what is the order here first of all for the matrix b the order is 3 by 2 three rows and two columns so b transpose will have order 2 by 3 so the first column 3 2 becomes the first row 3 to 9 second column containing 5 4 and 11 becomes the second row containing 5 4 and 11 so that's why this is how it becomes a 2 by 3 matrix so b transpose alternative symbol b dash well <coughs> enough of example let me go into the properties of transpose matrix properties when i say properties of transpose matrix how does the transpose matrix behave when two matrices are added or subtracted or multiplied suppose i add two 
matrices and take the transpose of the sum. I can include plus or minus also so that whether you add or subtract the transpose of the sum transpose of the difference it is same as sum of their individual transposes or difference of their transposes okay so in the respective order so a plus b whole transpose you can read it as a transpose plus b transpose and a minus b whole transpose becomes a transpose minus b transpose i have combined both properties together in this one equation the other one is multiplication when two matrices are multiplied and uh, you want to take the transpose of the product then the individual products of transpose of b transpose of a in that order in that order because we know there is uh, some kind of a uh, uh, criterion to be satisfied when there is a product of matrices done okay so a b whole transpose becomes b transpose a transpose and not in the same order of a transpose b transpose students better be uh, informed and alert on this condition because uh, the matrix product is not commutative so by writing it as a transpose b transpose in the same order you will be committing a blunder next uh, how the uh, transpose uh, behaves when it is multiplied by a scalar for example a constant multiplies all elements of your matrix a and you happen to take transpose so you should know it is simply k times of a transpose k times of a transpose and one more what will happen to the transpose of the transposed matrix again a matrix is given you have already taken a transpose once again i am doing the transpose we get back the original matrix so that is the property for a transpose whole transpose is a well students may then be wondering how these properties are to be proved we will not be able to give any tangible proof unless you give a example for every matrix a and b and verify the left hand side and right hand side and satisfy ourselves so let us do it for a couple of uh, a simple 2 by 2 matrix only i am not going to dwell on a very elaborate 3 by 3 so consider two matrices a 1 minus 3 minus 4 2 and take b as 3 minus 5 6 1 okay let us verify the properties each property in order let us put a plus b together so you know the procedure already the corresponding elements before you add or subtract students know very well that you have to verify whether the orders are same once the order is same you are going to add the corresponding elements so 1 and 3 combined minus 3 and minus 5 added together minus 4 and 6 added together 2 and 1 added together and the result is 4 Negative eight, two and three in second row. Okay. So let me stop there. And what about a plus b, the whole transpose? So you can write it as four minus. I have not done transpose. I am only writing the symbol here. The symbol only four minus eight two three whole transpose. the answer 
easy to produce the answer because the row will be converted to column row 1 you will write in the location of column 1 so that becomes that makes the column 1 4 and minus 8 second row returned as second column let us store it as result 1 and let us call it this is as left hand side and uh, what about the right hand side of the property you are going to take the individual transposes so what is a transpose that is 1 minus 3 negative 4 and 2 whole transpose so row 1 written as column 1 row 2 written as column 2 what about b transpose the given b we are going to do the transpose that is uh, first row has 3 and minus 5 second row has 6 and 1 and when you transpose row 1 written as column 1 second row as second column and i would like to add them so a transpose and b transpose add it what do we mean by add add the corresponding elements so it becomes 1 plus 3 minus 4 plus 6 negative 3 negative 5 and 2 plus 1 now what is the result you get 4 2 minus 8 and 3 compare this result 2 with the result 1 we find exactly the left hand side and RHS they are equal and hence this property stands proved okay so like this specifically by taking suitable matrices as example we will be in a position to prove every single property we will similarly already we have taken the matrices A and B let us go for the product so what is the product AB the first matrix is 1 and minus 3 minus 4 and 2 the B matrix has 3 minus 5 6 and 1 and let us form the product as we used to do like row 1 multiplies column 1 and the cumulative addition of the product of the pairs of elements properly 1 and 3 and minus 18 and then first row second column 1 into minus 5 minus of 3 minus 12 and plus 12 20 and 2 that is second row with second column so the answer for a b i get negative 15 negative 8 0 and 22 so i can immediately apply the transpose of a b transpose of a b so the rows and columns interchanged will become minus 15 minus 8 in column 1 0 and 22 in column 2 let me store this as result 1 and what about the rhs so understand it need not it should not be done in the same order we have to multiply b transpose in position 1 so take b transpose which is already available here when we were doing the addition b transpose is available a transpose is available so 3 minus 5 first column 6 1 second column 1 minus 3 negative 4 and 2 that is column 1 column 2 for a transpose so in that particular order we are multiplying so let us uh, get the product 3 times 1 minus 16 to 3 
and first row second column negative 12 plus 12 second row first column becomes negative 5 negative 3 followed by 20 plus 2 and the answer is 3 minus 18 gets you minus 15 0 minus 8 and 22 and uh, take that as result to the product B transpose A transpose. Comparing the two results 1 and 2 we find LHS being equal to RHS which means essentially we have verified that transpose of the product is equal to product of the transposes but in reverse order reverse order so this is what students have to remember and uh, without uh, any delay we can go into our subsequent session the next session will be on a different concept i'll meet you thank you very much